Farmers in northern Afghanistan are fighting a silent enemy. Afghanistan's breadbasket, hit hardest by three years of drought and many years of war, is finally blooming with crops and relative peace. But it's threatened by hundreds of millions of locusts marching across the fields and mountain slopes. Invasions of Moroccan locusts are not new to the people in the northern provinces of Afghanistan. Usually they manage to keep outbreaks under control. But over the last two years, conditions have favored the locusts. For me, the damage this year was the loss of all my crops. I sold my carpets to buy seeds. Now I've lost everything and I can't get anything from my land. I also lost my animals because their fodder was destroyed. For security reasons, the Taliban did not allow people to work in the fields and check locust-infected areas. Many farmers fled to the cities and had to abandon their land. In a politically unstable situation, locust control was far from being a priority. It's particularly serious this year because in recent years there's been a very low level of control or no control at all. And this is due to a number of reasons. One, that the government doesn't have its own capacity for the control of the locusts. Two, there have been security problems, political instability, which has prevented the UN agencies operating effectively in that area. Three, the Afghanistan has not been favoured by very much international assistance in recent years. So we have not had very much support to assist the government with locust control. More than 200,000 hectares of farmland have been infested, putting up to 70% of crop production and the livelihoods of some 4 million people at risk. Together with farmers, national plant protection experts, NGOs and international agencies, FAO has launched a $1 million campaign to combat the worst locust plague to hit Afghanistan in the last 30 years. Farmers started to fight locusts mechanically. They dug small trenches around the areas where the locusts were hatching, chased the insects with pieces of plastic and blankets into the trenches and buried them. Even now, the technique is being pursued in the upland areas where the locusts hatch out later. In some instances, the mechanical method is not enough. So FAO brought in degradable insecticides. Farmers received protective clothing and training and FAO distributed more than 1,500 handheld sprayers. More than 21,000 hectares have been treated so far, leaving a carpet of dead bugs. The next challenge is already around the corner. Each female locust lays up to three egg pods, each containing an average of 30 to 35 eggs. The monitoring of sites where egg laying takes place needs to start much earlier next year. The fight against locusts is a race against time. FAO says that despite some localized losses, it has been possible to keep overall damage under control so far.